Yeah, I played football. I uh, played a little bit of tennis, but mostly just worked out in the gym. I loved to work out. Dylan Young was like any other kid growing up. After graduating high school in 2012, he was off to Oneonta, New York to learn more about being a beekeeper. But on his way home in 2016, he made a pit stop at Lake George. And I did backflip off at the roof of a boat, not thinking it was three feet of water and landed on my neck. That moment, changing his life forever. Somebody pulled me out of the water and immediately I said, my neck's broken, my neck's open, I'm paralyzed. He was rushed to the hospital where he remained in an induced coma for weeks. His family by his side the whole time. It was heartbreaking, but um, I just remember knowing that he was going to be okay. So it was just a matter of, you know, getting through day by day. But his injury, hard to cope with. I said, wait, I'm never going to walk again. And then I just started breaking down crying. Things were no better after getting home. I'm really depressed all the time, miserable. Feeling like he had no purpose. He hardly left his room until his sister suggested he try painting. I just kept saying no, no, no. And she, so she, I said, all right, I'll try it once because I didn't want it to be like, say, I'm a quadriplegic, all I can do is paint now. But, so I tried it. And he fell in love with it. It gives me a lot of motivation and uh, helps keep me busy and that's what I need. His favorite technique, pour painting. And you flip it over, and then so the cup's on top of the canvas, and then you lift up the cup, and it's just a big splatter circle of paint of all the colors that were mixed in layers. The walls of his home now filled with his paintings waiting to be sold on his website. It's definitely something you gotta take one day at a time, and it's a hard life if you decide to live it, but it does get better. His sister looking up to him, every day. He has a lot of courage still and he still has so much that he has to work through but he does it and he's not afraid and he really pushes himself which inspires me to push myself. Dylan is getting ready to move into his own place grateful for his second chance and purpose in his life. There's so many people who have it way worse and take it way better than me so how can I be sad? And Benson, Matt Layton, NBC5 News.